Hey, welcome in Irish Nation here to the Golden Dawn Restaurant. It's player profile time. Tim Corso with Deshaun Whale, senior wide receiver, defensive back. Deshaun, thanks for joining me. And you guys came off of a really big win against Columbus Harley last week. A big difference in terms of the defensive side of the ball versus week one. And you guys were able to come away against a really good team in a really convincing fashion. How did you guys get that done on Friday down in Columbus? Um, after week one, we was hungry. After week one, we really wanted to uh, uh, come out there and just like um, uh, just get a, just get stops and just make sure that we're on top of our stuff and don't make the same mistakes we did last week. Right, and it was a it was a good start for you guys. And I've had a couple of drives where you might have had a couple of self-inflicted wounds. Other than that, you guys you still scored 41, and you guys played a really clean game overall. But the fact that you guys still made a couple of mistakes and you still played that dominant of a game, what does that speak to the level of skill and like the, the level of how high you guys can play even when you guys do make mistakes? Yeah, I think uh, playing Wash it really made us like, like I said, it was, it was like, I think Wash was probably like one of our better teams we play. So playing them just made us like our defense, I think made it more like impact it made a better impact on other like teams, like going against other de- like good defense. Defenses. So it's got to feel good getting that first win under the belt, especially in your senior season. And now you're going on to Farrell next week. And Farrell, they're fast, they're aggressive. You guys played them a couple years ago, and it's the first time you're playing them. How are you looking forward to facing this team? Dude, there are a lot of players who are very quick like you. You know, we saw that two years ago. And how is that going to match up with all the speed you guys have, too? Um, I think it's going to be a good game. We got um, good corners. We got good players, players like Ray. Just an abundance of goods there. You need too much talent, I guess, to go around. And it's it was a good game, both sides of the ball, 41 to 10. There's really not much to complain about in those aspects. And talk about you. Uh, this is your first year playing football. Your four year about to be a four year um, varsity letterman in basketball. What was the decision for you to come out for the football team? And of course, you're having the impact. You had an interception in your first game. Congratulations on that. And, I mean, what was that decision to come out for football and, you know, how are you liking it? I'm like, I came out because my uncle, right before he passed, he told me to play. Uh, he told me to play, like, a little bit last year. And, uh, he, I came to one of the games and he told me I should be out there. And I probably should have been out there and come out next year. So, I'm going to come out there. You certainly fit him well with that speedy offense when you're we talking about it pre, you know, the first week and how, you know, DC's moving the quarterback. But you and him have very similar tendencies as a receiver. You're quick, you're twitchy. And how is it having a player like DC knowing exactly how you are as a as a receiver, that kind of chemistry that you guys have? Um, it's, it's good. Uh, him knowing that I'm shifting, he knows exactly. So once I, uh, he puts the ball in my hand, I just go take the point. And you're playing both sides of the ball. And how is that conditioning? Because it's, it's common and more common in high school players and in college and NFL, of course. But it still takes a lot of energy to play both sides of the ball, all four quarters. How does that come into your conditioning? How does that kind of factor in? And what do you do to prepare for that? I mean, Coach got it right. I think every day in practice, we make sure we can make sure we can make sure Right, and of course, I mean, playing football and then going to basketball, I'm sure the physicality is going to, you know, I'm sure help you in the basketball court, especially with you being a guard, you know, you, and we've seen you play, you like to drive, you like to be physical yourself. How is that only going to help you, of course, on the field in football, but also in everything else you're doing off the football field? Yeah, it's going to help a lot. I'm def- I definitely got stronger, so once I'm coming in, I'm definitely going to be better. So a lot of things are going to be might be a little stronger than Coach Gunther next time you see him, and I'm sure hoping he's watching this. But uh, you guys, taking on Farrell, we talked about them. What are you looking to expect from this Farrell team like you've seen on tape? And obviously we know it's going to be a good game because they're a very talented team from across the border. What's kind of the rundown on Farrell? And I mean, you don't have to answer this question, but what, what do you like playing better, offense or defense? I mean, everyone's kind of got a preference. Sound a little bit like Coach Gunther there with the defense first mentality, and it's uh, and of course that's 
well, I can't say that's what won you the game on Friday because you guys put up 41 points. Not many teams will beat you when you put up that many points. But then again, most teams won't beat you when you only give up 10 points, especially with the offense and the kind of players you have because you got the running game, the offensive line, you played well. And you guys really did it well in all facets of the game. And so what can we kind of expect to see from you the rest of the season and, of course, this upcoming week as, you know, you just look to make that run at the ultimate goal in the state title? I'm still learning still. So me just uh, learning and making sure I'm in the right positions where I got to be and helping my team out the best way I can. Just, that's my goal. Perfect. And how has that learning curve kind of come along? Because it's obviously not playing for a few years and you kind of adjust in there. Um, how's that learning curve been for you? Because you haven't played in a few years, oh, yeah. you got to adjust. Well, it's definitely been. Uh, it's been rocky, but it's going good so far. Um, I mean, some things are hard. I mean, uh, some things are harder to understand. Right. It's, the coaches are really great, so just them explaining everything and making sure I got it and of course, you know, Coach Reardon, of course, he says perfect practice makes perfect, not just regular practice, because you can't play well in practice, you can't win the game and perform well in the field. And lastly, I mean, like we talked about the abundance of players on your team, what's this kind of brotherhood been for you? Because they've kind of accepted you in. I'm sure you knew them in school, obviously, but it's different from knowing them in school versus, you know, after school when you're grinding with them two, three hours right after every day. What's kind of been like and how they kind of welcomed you in the football family? It's been pretty good. It's definitely like a part of it. Everybody has to trust everybody to be each other. It's just a big family. All right. Well, thank you, Deshaun Will. We uh, have the player profile. which will be online. I'm hoping you guys will watch. You're here from the Golden Dawn Restaurant. Thanks for sponsoring. And we'll see you guys Friday night from Farrell, PA. We'll be there on the call. This has been Ursland's player profile.